Let's gotta be boom. No, 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 no. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's yours truly, Op Destroy. Today guys, I have a special guest with me in my video. It's none other than the Shish Kebabber. What's up, Shish? Hey, what's up, OP? Glad to be here. Oh my gosh, dude. Do you know why you're here, bro? Like, really? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. I think I do. I think you do, man. I think you were in my stream last night. But guys, I have something special. I am pushing VP. And today, the very first day, I spawned global number three and global number 13. And you can see here in my attacks log that I spent countless of attacks, three, six, eight, nine total attacks for global 13. I went from TGM to RZCM to you call it. Finally, finally folks, this guy had seven ice statues. Six of them were boosted. I only have three offensive, and I boosted my three offensive. But check this out. RZCM for the W. I'm going to pause here really quick and show you this base. Um, he, got, he had boosted ice statues all up and down. And uh, I'm taking this guy to Pound Town, so let's watch it. So, Shish, uh, what were you thinking, man? Like, did you think I was going to get this or what? Well, you know, it's very important to analyze the feng shui of the base. And... Um... You know, yeah, I, 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 I had confidence in you. I was losing faith at some point, though. It took many attacks, but uh, it came together quite beautifully. Yes, guys. I am not telling you I am like a, a Boom Beach, the best Boom Beach player <laughs> when it comes to VP pushing. Um, but it took a lot. If you guys want to see the detailed, uncut version of this, go watch my last stream, please. So what I do here, guys, is I just kind of sit in the right, the left, I mean the right side, and I flared just above that uh, that iron storage. If you noticed, I marked that rocket sitting right next to that shield gen, okay? Um, I get my troops here, I throw out a hack. I did have hack, guys. I do swear to my critter swarm, but I used hack here with Everspark, and she hacked the rocket, and then right on about here, I go to Pound Town, shock in the mortar, and that shock launcher rocket up top above the core, and I let my troops just go to town, folks. That's what I did, and watch what happens. I'm showing you this in one times because you gotta see it in one times. So my troops are just going to town. I get this amazing hack on the shock launcher, guys. That was the bread and butter of this attack, I believe. That's what, I mean, that's what saved me, I think. Um, it was a key element, yeah. Yes, yes. Any, any words, Shish? What do you think? What do you think about right here? Were you feeling good as I was doing this right here? Oh, ab absolutely. Things were looking good at that point. Nailing that hack really paved the way to Pound Town. Yeah. And I even had some of my girls guys take out that shock blaster for like a for like an extra bonus. So I was like thinking to myself, you know what? I got a lot of troops left. I got a lot of riflemen left. That rocket was being a pest. I had enough GBE to take a to get an artillery shell on it. And now I'm thinking, I have this. I got critters, I got medics and riflemen all in front of my Zookas. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what, man? My first global player I'm taking down. That looked pretty easy. I, I mean, look how many troops I had left. Uh, and look at this, guys. Boom-tastic does go global 13 with seven ice statues, six of them boosted. Down it goes, guys. But do you guys want to see the cream of the crop here? What we really came for on this one? Global number three came my way. And yes, it took me, I took him down in two attacks. I mean, I mean, I mean, it took me two attacks to take him down. The first one was a, which was a, a heavy Zooka bullet taunt kind of attack. But then my second attack, guys, was the beautiful RZCM. I used it, and you can see there by the attacks log, I took it out right after taking out Global 13. <laughs> it was great. And, and I'm not going to lie. This player was online, and I think I tapped Shish for what? Probably about an hour and a half, maybe? Total total time? Was it? Uh, that's, that, that's a fair estimate for sure. Yeah. 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 I, I might be exaggerating a tad, but guys, I tapped... I think I have carpal tunnel in my, my finger, but 
you get a guaranteed crystal with this top, this global three player. So that's why you see that shiny green one there. But guys, watch it. Same type style of attack. It was a little closer on this one, guys. I'm not going to lie. But I did exactly the same as I did last attack. And uh, I felt good about it. I, even in my stream, I felt good about it. I'm like, you know what? If I could just get a hold of this guy one more time, I feel good. And I did, guys. Let's watch it. Global number three. Ugh. I guess if you look at it, Shish, him not letting me attack him for so long, I didn't lose that many attacks and get banned, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and his base layout was similar to Global 13. Yes, it was. That's what made me my, twinkle in my eye. So, guys, you can see here, I hit the shock mine like I did the other one too, right? <laughs> um, but my troops are getting up. And we part just like we did last time, guys. Marking that one rocket launcher. And getting Everspark to hack it. Um, and I shock, I throw a shock on that shock and rocket above the core. I nail that. And I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't an easy nailing of a shock, Shish. You see that rocket and the shock? It wasn't, they, they were they were pretty much spaced apart, man. Like, it wasn't a pixel shock, but it, it was not an easy shock. Oh, definitely. And then I throw it again on it. So, right here I'm thinking, all right, come in, and I'm like, only if ever Spark can hack that shock launcher. You guessed it, folks. She did, and I was in heaven here. But it wasn't over yet, because that machine gun was tearing through a lot of my troops, and that one rocket just above the core was barely damaged. And I'm thinking right here, do I have it? I don't know. But I was happy to say that, that those Zookas did take down that shock blaster, which was cool. And so I'm thinking to myself, oh man, do I have it? Do I have it? And right here, it kind of looked like I did. I'm like, come on, critters, keep in front of that, that shock launcher. Uh, and Sparky's eating the rockets too, yes. like a champ. Yes, that that rocket did peel off a few Zookas, then it went over to Sparky. She moved closer to it, it looked like, and you guys can see here, I didn't have to, I had no more shocks anyways, but you can see Sparky was taking the hit from that rocket. And finally the shield goes down, folks, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this could be it. The shock launcher gets a shock off on my Zookas on the right, hurts them, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what? It obliterates that portion, and my last pocket down below, guys, seal the deal, and Global 3 goes to Poundtown Shishk. Absolutely. Oh, man. Like, you had five girls remaining at the end of that little, but it worked. It worked, guys. There it is right there. I had five Zookas and Everspark, so actually six, right? So, there it was, guys. Global 3 down. Down. It, it, it was quite a journey and I take it down guys so I just want to let you know that it's possible with only three offensive statues to take a seven ice boosted base down you just got to find their Akila heels and I did well I, I I did kind of in a sense with RZCM I kind of did and it worked out it worked out guys Everspark hacked the shock launcher both attacks that was cool and uh, other than that guys that's pretty much it leave a thumbs up on the video please and uh, guys Global three, that's huge for me. That's huge for me. And again, Shish Kebabber, I thank you for taking the time to be here with me today, man. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. It's great to see these attacks, and you know that should just uh, bolster your confidence in knowing that you will achieve your goal of reaching top 50, man. So good luck to you. I know. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Thank you so much for that, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Peace.